All right, guys, let me start off the video by wishing everybody a fantastic 4th of July holiday. The market's closed tomorrow. We had half a day today. Uh, we'll be back at it on Thursday morning first thing. But uh, did make a few calls today, put out a few ideas, and um, not a bad morning, really. Uh, General Motors, uh, normally I wouldn't call something on a high of day break after it's already made a big move. Um, but General Motors has been beaten up pretty good on the daily chart and uh, pretty low risk base break call right here on the high of the day um, break. So GM, my idea was uh, 2056, basically a high of day break stop about a dime below, below this base. And you know what, pretty quick move to 2112. So 56 cent move in our favor on, um, you know, about a dime risk, not too bad. NBR, um, you can't see it here. I took snapshots of charts, so these are five minute candles, but the gap up today and the 10 minute high, two five minute candles here uh, that had a high of 1445 was about equal to a three day high after a gap up. Again, you can't see it on this chart, but um, called it over the five minute high here, 1446, worst case stop about a dime below pretty quickly um, up to almost 1470 and ultimately went to um, 1482. Not a big move, uh, 30, what, 36 cents in our favor on about a dime risk, but a dime risk isn't even really fair to say because if you look at once it triggered, we ne you know, never, never came back to our entry. So those are always nice, um, but the dime was the worst case scenario. And WLL, you see the volume here on the opening candle. A lot of times we spot our trade ideas based on high volume pops like WLL did. So when WLL did this pop here, I didn't even have it on my overnight watch list, but this volume landed it on our watch list, okay? And then when it gave this pullback down into what we call the buy zone between the eight and 20 period moving average, five minute candles, you had kind of this little spinning top, whatever they call these, doji, I don't know. I don't know my, I haven't read all the candlestick books, but um, over this candle, in other words, a five setup, you had consecutive lower highs on five minute candles. My idea was a long uh, fives entry, first break of a previous fives high, in other words, uh, 42.82 on WLL. And um, you can see ultimately, it looked like a grind, but really ultimately pretty quickly right through 43, uh, probably to 43.25 on that first pop over the course of about 10 minutes. And um, ultimately went to 43.63. So um, 81 cent move in our favor. The risk was about 25 cents, a little wider than usual, but again, if you look at it, once it triggered, never really uh, had our stop in jeopardy. Our stop was down here. So um, that's the highlights from chat today. Again, we'll be back at it first thing on Thursday morning. Have a great holiday, and we'll see you then.